Welcome guys. Uh, in the last video, we have talked about the uh, implementation of this uh, remote interface. This is your class. So what we have done till now is we have created a add interface as add i. Then we have created the implementation of this as uh, the, the class name was add c. Now the next step is we have to compile this uh, class and we have to compile the remote interface that we will do after we have created the server. So that uh, we'll see in a sync now. It's not always compulsory to, uh, to follow the steps. We can have our own steps here. So what we'll do, we'll, I will not start the server. I will just create the server and it will just create the client. Okay. So the first step, we have, the next step we have will do is we'll create the server. Okay. And for that, we'll require one more notepad, notepad file. Now to implement the server, what we have, we have to create a class, a public class as server. And then in this class, I, I want to run this class independently. So that uh, for, for that, we have to do public static void main. A main function we require because it will run independently. And then we have this arguments. Now, as you know, uh, we will be defining those methods. We will be calling that method add which which throws the exception so by default this main function need to throw the exceptions or, or exception okay and for now the next step is now we have to add we have to create object of that add c uh, we'll name this first we'll save this file uh, we'll say server.java now we have to create of that add c because this add c this implementation will be on server side so we'll say add c equal to new add c this is one of the JVM. Now, the next step will be, now we have to link this object OBJ as we seen here. We have to link this object OBJ with our RMI registry, right? So we have to register this name here. And to register that name, we have to use something, a, a, a function called as rebind. So rebind is responsible to, to, to assign a caption to an object and we'll say the caption is add or we'll say capital add and we'll say object name is obj so this is your obj and this is your uh, caption add now this rebind method is a static method which belongs to a class called as naming so we'll say naming dot rebind that's it and once it is done we'll say the server is started so system dot out dot print ln what we'll do is we'll say server started Okay, that's it. We have done with the server. But since we are working with this class naming dot rebind, we have to import a package. And that's why what we'll do is we'll say import. We'll say import java dot rmi dot star. It will it will fetch the packages. Okay, that was your server. We'll not run this file. First, we'll create a client machine so that uh, we'll see the effect of this. Uh, now, to create a client machine, we'll, we'll require one more. We'll require one more file. will one more notepad file. Again, still now we have created uh, th three uh, Java files. This is fourth one. So this is your client dot Java. This is your fourth Java file. Now, to create a, a, a client machine, we require again a, a public class. We'll name this as client. And in this, we require a main function. So we'll say public static void main, which will accept a string arguments. Again, we know we'll be calling that method add. So it will throw the exception. So we'll say throw the exception. And the next step. Now we have to create object of add, right? So see, ultimately what we need, we have to call that method called as add. By passing two values, we can take input from user. Or for time being, we'll say we have to add this to number five and four. The output I'm expecting is nine, right? So I will take this input and we'll store this variable in uh, n. So n equal to add five comma four. Now I don't know where is the implementation because the implementation will be stored on server. And for that, we need to call this object. Now see, uh, we have to create object, right? Again, we cannot create object of this class is because I, we don't know where is the class. We don't know what's the add class right, or add C because it belongs to server side. What we know as a client will be knowing the interface. 
and the interface in which we will have this method uh, add is or let's add i will name this object as obj equal to now now i don't uh, we cannot do add a uh, new add i right because this is your interface so what we have what we need is we need an object of that implementation like if i create object of add c here if i create object of add c here it will work but as a client you don't know where is the add add c right for that we will ask for the rmi registry to give me the name or to give me the object so we'll say naming dot lookup which object i need any object with caption add will do any object with caption add will do now it will give you the object this one as we have done here when you say add oh, oh i've done some uh, case problem so this is your the caption is add right now here what we have in server code we have defined a caption add for this object right and the same object we need here so what if the client will do we will we'll search for the caption and what ultimately you will getting is obj now we don't want object of uh, a class we require object of interface so we will do a type casting here and that's it you you got the object and then you have to call obj dot add now it will call that object and then we'll print the value of this end so we'll say system dot out dot print ln and in this we'll print n or we, to be more specific we'll say addition is colon plus so it will give me output as addition is uh, 9 but again we are using this class naming so we have to import a package so we'll say import java dot rmi dot star that's it now we have done with the client implementation we have done with the server, server implementation now let's let's follow the steps now the steps are now the steps are we have to create a stub and skeleton or we have to compile all the file first now to compile all the files what we require is we have required a cmd here just hold on guys i i think we have to we'll do this in my next part of the video so do watch my second video thank you so much